We need to develop a political movement which once again is prepared to take on and defeat a ruling class whose greed is destroying our nation. So, you're Hassan Piker, an online political commentator that's supposed to be something like the second coming of Karl Marx if he had an unhealthy obsession with materialistic things and playboy models. You're looking for the best way to climb to the top of the social media lefty political ecosphere and profit as much as possible on your way there. And you're willing to do just about anything to do it. Supposed political ideals? Be damned. Blatant copyright infringement? Check. Shamelessly wearing socialism as an aesthetic? Check. Marketing yourself as a male feminist and ally to women while simultaneously objectifying them and treating them like dirt the second they disagree with you? Check. Well, grab my hand while we jump through the rabbit hole and into the absolute paradox land that Hassan Piker calls home. Let's bring him to Marxism is just a theory on how uh, commodity production works under a capitalist organization of the economy. The difference between private property and personal property, which a lot of idiots can't comprehend, is that there is no Marxian basis for uh, saying that like you can't have a car or a house or some like that. The relationship between those who produce the work, the workers, versus those who uh, profit from the labor that you put in, the bourgeoisie, the capital owners. Hassan does a lot of talk about socialism, Marxism, communism, the whole lot. But the question really comes down to this. Is any of this more than just an aesthetic he uses to market and present himself to the masses? Is any of this more than just a game of Twitter activism and enriching himself in the process? So, how is life as a socialist? It's glass. Bubbles. They rise to the top. Each bubble has the same chance to arise. That is a very peculiar form of socialism. On August 13th, 2021, an article was published on Dirt titled Twitch Phenom, Hassan Abi Talks and Talks His Way into a West Hollywood Home. The article goes on to describe a lavish $2.7 million house that Hassan bought in West Hollywood. Dude, this is like unimaginable wealth, dude. How the f do people make this much money? $2.9 million near Las Vegas? Dude, oh my f lord. Honestly, I couldn't have picked a better location myself for a devout socialist to live in. Needless to say, Hassan wasn't too happy about the public finding out about this. Hassan is in his Discord typing out that I doxed him because I put a screenshot of like the third f***ing mainstream article that was published about him buying a three million dollar WeHo house, okay? I don't know how the f and Part of the reason why this was leaked in the first place is because Destiny uh, tweeted it out. That's right, it's by not, the way. That is what dog. started it. Uh, and I don't want to get on Destiny's bad side because kind of like Aiden Ross, he has an absolute menace of a viewership that will hunt me down and make me regret ever speaking his name. Uh, he's one, he's right about that too. That's the worst part about it is like, I can't even do anything about it because they'll just keep doing this. I'm sorry guys, I know some of you guys like probably watch him too, but his community is incredibly loyal and they operate in the exact same way that old like 4chan circles used to operate in like kiwi farms and 4chan's they do regardless of his petty response to the situation i'm not by any means trying to suggest that you can't own a nice house and be a socialist as the five-headed commenters have sure to have already pointed out, saying something like, socialism is when poor. But I don't imagine socialism is when someone completely bases their identity 
on blatant hyperconsumerism and identity obsession. Someone that will literally step on the toes of their fellow creator in effort to exploit the system and others' labor for personal gain. Then have the impotence to call out those very same creators whose toes you're crushing and who have the audacity to have a problem with something that will most definitely come around and damage them? It's literally the bourgeoisie harming the proletariat. Previously on MasterChef. I have no idea what this is. Have you guys been the seeing trend the trend where on Twitch, people just watch TV shows? Bro, making a video like this is worse, dude. The, like, making a video like this only draws attention to it, and it's absolutely gonna... This is just dry snitching, bro. Come on. I feel like there's this aura of pretending that you're, like, untouchable. You're not just playing with fire. You're sticking your hand down into the actual embers at this point, onto the coals. This could be bad in terms of advertiser money flow into the system, and in general, how bad it'll affect the smaller streamer who's just trying to get by. They are the big streamers. They are the faces of the platform. They are the bourgeoisie of Twitch, and they are taking actions that are going to harm the little guy on the platform. Little guy or little girl, on the platform. They are going to be harming the proletariat. Hassan, <laughs> if you see this, I'm happy for you to react to my videos. If proper credit is given, however, please don't just let them play as filler, sitting there saying very little and just having lunch or leaving them in the room. Like, come on, man, I'm fine with React content. It just requires a substance or significant reaction to proper credit. Okay, fair. This is what I said one fucking year ago. Since then, he made a video or they made a video. Afterwards, they uh, had like a bunch of Nazis in the kill stream get together and do an eight hour reaction to my entire stream. I think it was an eight or 10 hour podcast that they did on that. Okay. And I apologize back then. And they held on to the grudge. And then they made another video now. Another video a year later. Sargon of a God joined multiple eight hour streams. If you expect me to think that that person is charitable at this point, I don't know what to tell you, because it's not. You're a f psycho if you think that that is a charitable person. No, that is a deranged person. It's a five minute video, which I apologize for. It's incredibly petty. My point here today is to show Hassan's utter contempt for conforming to anything that would even somewhat resemble the ideals that he preaches about holding so dearly. And to do that, we might have to look into his past and see if we could establish a pattern. Interesting. All right, we're gonna cover something a lot of you have probably heard of before, but trust me, it will go a long way to establish a pattern of complete disregard and even his understanding of his political ideals. So just stick with me for a second here. On November 25th, 2019, a post titled Hassan Exploited My Labor for YouTube Videos was published on Reddit. The post goes on to detail the story of one of Hassan's video editors not being paid for his work after editing nearly seven videos that accumulated nearly 300,000 views. After feeling like his labor was being exploited, the editor went to Reddit to tell his story. After the scandal blew up, he was finally compensated for his work. Hassan still insists this was all just a miscommunication between him and the editor. I'm sorry for not compensating any of my Twitch chatters for all of the delicious spicy memes uh, that they put out on the Twitch chat that I have not compensated for. Uh, I didn't realize that uh, at some point, every single person who has made free stuff for everyone in the community to enjoy uh, could turn around and be like, hey man, like, this is pretty f***ed up. Like, I know I never asked you to pay me for anything, but pretty up that you never paid me even though i never asked you to pay me this is literally exploitation so if you if you wanted to pay for this stuff and if you had asked me personally to get paid for this stuff i would never in a million gajillion years ever 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 turn around and be like yeah i'm not paying you i owe my soul to the company store Regardless of what you think about the situation, it definitely didn't look good for Hassan at the time. 
But this incident is what eventually led to the situation that exemplifies the absolute comical understanding Hassan has of the phrase means of production. Wait, Hassan is still doing this? I've been working for Hassan for seven plus months now. I rarely get assigned videos from Hassan. He takes upwards of one to two weeks to reply. He doesn't tell me what sort of videos he wants. I make up to 50 to $150 a month from these videos. I literally bought them computers and said, here, you get to own the means of your production. This way, you can do whatever you want with your own computer. I know, it's hard to listen to without chuckling mid-sentence, but it seems when Hassan is thinking about his wallet, he can understand the situation just fine. Marxism is just a theory on how uh, commodity production works under a capitalist organization of the economy, the relationship between those who produce the work, the workers, versus those who uh, profit from the labor that you put in, the bourgeoisie, the capital owners. But the ultimate goal is, to, is for workers to own the means of production, okay? When I worked for someone else, I was still doing something that I loved, okay? And I worked really hard at it. But the fruits of my labor were never mine and you're basically a cog in a machine where you generate revenue for your bosses obviously you don't that's not desirable of course you're not going to work super hard it's mo it's the most human thing to want to work for as little as you possibly can and get paid the most that's what you want as a worker and your boss wants to extract the maximum amount of surplus value from you so they want you to work as hard as you possibly can for the least amount of money they can pay you and get away with. Now, tell me this. If the fruits of your labor are not yours at TYT because you don't own the platform on which you're talking on and aren't compensated accordingly, then how on God's green earth have you given your editors the means of production? Sure, the computer might be the tool they use to make your video, but without the platform of your channel, it's nothing, Hassan, and you know it. That is literally, like, is a man not entitled to the sweat of his brow? Is a Bioshock Andrew Ryan reference that is supposed to be libertarian, right? But actually, it is inherently socialist, okay? A man being entitled to the sweat of his brow is a, literally a worker owning the means of production popular live streaming platform Twitch says a malicious third party is behind a massive data breach of the website. Hackers exposed a huge amount of information, including source code, revenue figures for some of the platform's top streamers, and much, much more. On October 6th, 2021, an article was published on Ars Technica titled Twitch Source Code, Creator Earnings Exposed in 125 Gigabyte Leak. The article goes on to describe a leak being posted on 4chan in what was effectively an entire source code dump of Twitch, including creator earnings from 2019 to the current date of the leak, which show Hassan earning $210,000 for the month of September 2021. Ladies and gentlemen, Twitch is hacked and its source code is out in the f***ing wild. I don't even know how the website is up right now. I don't know how the f*** it's working, but uh, this morning I woke up to a 125 gigabyte data leak. I don't even know how f protected my information is on Twitch. I don't know anything. It's probably a breach of contract by Twitch too. I don't know how the f*** this works. Now, of course, for most of the content creators that you are seeing with like how much their earnings are, which immediately was made into this like wonderful little list so you can take a look at it. Except for this unknown person. I don't know what's going on. It might be like Dr. Disrespect or something. I don't know what that is. But this is nothing. Like for me, this is pretty much all of the revenue because all of my revenue comes from subscription and like the Twitch payouts. For most people, they also have ad deals, sponsors, merchandise, and numerous other ways that they make money. I literally did a hashtag ad last night for Far Cry, suck my dick. It's because I usually, in like 98% of circumstances, say no to ad deals if I don't think it's a good fit. That's the difference. Your Twitch contract covers more though, you weasel. What do you mean? Oh, this is my favorite thing. 
where people that uh, think I am not being transparent when I literally have my subscription count up there and unironically tell you about everything. Hmm. Now, isn't that a bit odd? Do you think that peddling vodka is a great fit for your audience? Hmm. Something tells me champagne might have been a better fit. Anyway, speaking of those exclusivity contracts, where were we? Mayor, you have a visitor. Not now, I'm having problems. But Mayor, it's uh, Jeff Bezos. Oh, oh yeah, Jeff Bezos, the arch enemy of socialism. How does it feel signing exclusivity contracts with Amazon to run premium CPM ads on your content that has enabled you to earn millions of dollars off the back of a system born out of exploitation? Like, no, brother, the reason why people still work for you while pissing in bottles is because they have no other option. I mean, maybe you're onto something, Hassan. Maybe that profit from the exploited labor of Amazon's employees is way better off in a principled socialist hands like yourself, right? I mean, think of all the goodwill and activism you will do to further those very socialist ideals you hold so close. That's right. And I and this is a reminder, you don't have to wait for your favorite orgs to donate to charity. Go ahead and find your own favorite charity, such as, uh, what's one of your favorites, Hassan? I like Gamers Outreach. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> San spent all that money on a house, so he's not been giving to charity recently, which is why I can't think of any. Hmm. Uh, oh, well, I, I mean, at least we could count on him for some slick Jeff Bezos jokes. Everybody Twitch Prime before I run an ad for our Supreme Overlord, Doc Ock, uh, Lex Luthor, Amazon, my boss. I'm about to run an ad. And if you don't want to see it, you should use your Twitch Prime or a $5 sub to avoid it. But it's coming right now. Six second ad break. Let's get started with that immediately. Look at this, 9,000 upvotes. Twitch is reportedly running anti-union Amazon ads targeting Alabama. Uh, uh, yeah. Labor yeah, unions, uh. Dude, he's so scary. So, is making supervillain jokes and slight critiques of Jeff Bezos supposed to absolve you of your complicity in the situation? Or are you just trying to give your lefty audience an easy way to laugh off your blatant hypocrisy? Bro, who the f is buying this though? Like, like who's buying a race car? Like racers? Are you a racer? Hmm, I can hear it now. Socialism is when no car. Yeah, this is far from just having a form of transportation so you could get around in this crippling capitalist society. It's just kind of ironic that you would choose literally the most spoiled rich boy vehicle you could think of, besides maybe a Lamborghini, as your form of transportation to your $2.7 million house. That is a very peculiar form of socialism. I don't know, Hassan. For a socialist, you sure seem to fit in really well with all the high-class capitalist snobs you seem to have a problem with. Now, I get it. If someone just had a nice house or a car, then obviously that doesn't mean they can't be a socialist. What the people that make this argument are just blatantly missing, though, is where on earth all this money came from. Signing exclusivity contracts with literally the most infamously greedy capitalist organization in the history of mankind seems like it might just be slightly relevant in that line of reasoning, wouldn't you say? Then, when you tack on his hyper-consumerist obsession of gaudy rings on every finger of both hands donned with designer clothing tweeting about capitalist greed from inside his $200,000 sports car off of his iPhone, it's like, sheesh dude, I'm sorry I get the slightest hint of irony off of you. Clearly, I'm the one missing something here. It's like, the question really comes down to this. Is preaching your ideals on social media really enough to call yourself a socialist? Especially when you are living the best life imaginable under the crippling system of capitalism. Apparently, 
socialists don't have to do anything with their money, just become a hyper-capitalist standing on the back of Jeff Bezos. As long as you claim your ideals are socialist and you preach them to the masses, you're all good. So, I've been thinking to myself, what would compel someone to have such a mind-numbing image fixation? Well, it all really starts to make sense when you start to look at what Hassan is pursuing. The dude seems to have an unhealthy obsession with adult video stars. Tell them, yeah, no, tell them they're pay pigs right now. You guys are pay pigs, you should send him money. Oh, hell yeah. You can make some faces, like angry faces. You can make an Ahigawa face if you want. We can make an emo to that if you want. That's not racist. What? Why would that be racist? Everyone does Ahigawa face. Now, I'm not sure if he thinks the videos he watches of these adult video stars is real life, because he seems to be under the assumption that he could just blatantly objectify them in public. But it's not just Playboys Hassan creeps on in disrespects. Yeah like that. <laughs> Pull it up. Slowly. It's like I've been doing it wrong this whole time. <laughs> she does not go on Twitch. Okay, uh, well, let's let, let you know about, about me a little let me, bit. Let me tell you something, okay? okay? Any, like, cute girl in Los Angeles yeah. is never on Twitch. I'm hearing a lot of things. Mm -hmm. I don't know how that translates to clothing. Do you, want me, do you want me to back up? I'm no. Everybody's saying booba in the chat. Saying what? Boop? Booba. Oh. <laughs> it's an <laughs> emote. It's an emote for like What's them emo? being emo? emotes or emojis. At least you got good trip for yourself every time I come in here, you know? Oh, yeah. You yeah. too. Thank you. I like the purple. I like what we're doing. This is good. We're doing yeah. back and forth compliments. Yeah. This is good. We're vibing. Thank you. Yeah. Of course. So, what are you guys doing after? Uh, I'm gonna get dinner with my mom. No. Yeah. <laughs> no. I wanna go. You missed it. I'm not sure if you're catching the signals or if you just don't care. Is it just me, or does this guy have a real problem with respecting any woman that isn't highly agreeable to his ideals and or he isn't pursuing sexually? Is it, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm all the things you think I am. Oh, hell yeah. You can make some faces, like angry faces. You can make an Ahigawa face if you want. We can make an emo to that if you want. I think what people even consider to be for performative feminism is just literally men treating women like human beings. Oh, Tell them, yeah, no. Tell them they're pay pigs right now. You guys are pay pigs, you should send him money. Wait, what? Are you implying that I'm a fucking misogynist? What the fuck is this take? No. This is the conservative goth? Why is she using a soundbite about crackheads when she literally looks like, you know, the most gas station woman I've ever seen in my entire life? I'm beginning to suspect Hassan is secretly anti-feminist. What is going on? What the fuck is going on? Little sh in the chat who have never fucked a girl in their entire lives calling me a simp when I could be a total piece of sh and women would still want to fuck me. Guys, please stop asking for a 5'9 fake blonde trad wife who loves the gym. Santa's already tried kidnapping me 69 times. Bro, this is the other thing. It's like, how are you going to sit here and be like, I'm a trad wife. I'm a conservative. And then you just button it up on TikTok. Marxism is just a theory on how uh, commodity production works under a capitalist organization of the economy. But like, you can't simultaneously be like, mm, I am so trad dude and then be like oh santa tried to kidnap me 69 times Ooh, -hoo. you can't be trad if you make a living off of farming sips okay like i get it dude you don't like her politics but you don't have to make it so obvious this male feminist routine is something you're switching off just as easy as a light switch as soon as you don't like what they say This is for the record. History is written by the victor. History is filled with liars. If he lives and we die, his truth becomes written and ours is lost. 
March 16th, 2022. The YouTube channel Complex posted a video titled, How Hassan Piker Became Our Generation's Top Political Pundit, as a part of their ongoing Blueprint series. I, I just made my own choices and uh, built my own business model, I guess, if I were to use a term like that. I paved it on my own. You paved it on your own, eh? I'm not so sure about that. Here at MLG Dallas with Stephen Bonell II, or otherwise known as Destiny. How are you doing? So I don't know if you've noticed this in an argument. Um, some people will, some people will do this in an argument. Will you talk about a bunch of things? If you bring up like six or seven points. <laughs> Paved it on your own? The fact that you have the nerve to say that when the receipts are widely available across the internet kind of amazes me, Hassan. Do you think just because you're on top of the live streaming politics space that you could rewrite history? You might have taken the space to a peak in terms of viewership and that itself should be enough to be proud of. But this claim of paving this space on your own is just blatantly false. Combining politics and gaming had already been popularized long before you had even started your first live stream. And by the very person you idolized just a short time ago. Uh, uh, shout out! Shout out to Destiny, by the way. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot oh, yeah. to say, yeah. Oh, uh, you know, you know of him? Okay, cool. Yeah. Cool. But when I watched that video, I was like, oh, that's cool. So we have like somebody in the gaming community who's actually pushing back. Hell yes, that's actually yeah. Destiny's the reason why really I know cool. about Trihex as well. If Destiny was my roommate, I get him laid all the time. I, uh, I, I was like, all right, whatever. Well, I don't have anything. Like, I, I don't have anything. I have no option. I, I'm in the next eleven days. So much so that like. Steven was uh, DMing me on Discord and saying, hey, you know what? If you don't have a place to live, buddy, like you can come stay with me. It's okay. What a good guy. Destiny is a f great guy. Oh yeah, watch out. He gets real rowdy with that. Here, for all of you guys, is the, here, Fish and Destiny playing. Bob okay, wait, hey, listen, God I love you. What? Um, I told a friend that I would play a game with him and then I have to get ready for that Scarf oh, podcast show. Okay. Listen. Don't worry, you're gonna get all my viewers who wanna watch you watch it are gonna go to your stream. Oh, okay. okay, I mean, no, okay. it's fine. I wanted to watch it with you, but it's cool, dude. Friendship is is uh, just dead, I guess. <laughs> oh, Speedo McGee is your fan that gave me 200 subs so far. No, no, you're coming, you're coming. You're I coming, thought this was like a, no, I thought no, no, this was coming, like a convention. Coming, I thought coming. this was like a the Young Turks like office no, Christmas no, no, it's party. A family party, I told you. And oh, I'll why the f would I go to your family party? I don't know what the f you're gonna do. Sit around and eat Chinese food by yourself while crying. People are <laughs> people in the chat are like, that sounds like destiny for sure, dude. You're fan base is wild dude all right you want to go out tonight dude what's going on what's what happened why are you gonna just stiff him like that dude that was because rude they, as because they didn't want you to be here that's why oh you're like standing up for me solidarity it's not gonna hurt my feeling brother no it's fine no why the f would i help anyone out you're the only person i've ever done that for you better feel special oh wow i do dude oh, well, i mean i was super cute but <laughs> you're cuter don't worry in a different way Hmm, what a shame. I keep hearing all these people saying you've changed, or that all my arguments hinge on problems from years ago, and that all I'm saying is that people can't change. But you see, the way I see it is, the only thing you're trying to change is history, and your mask you present to the public. and. If anything, in a lot of ways, you've gotten worse.